Now then, so we're going to do some painting today. So what you'll need is your watercolour set. Obviously yours is the red one. I don't have one of those. I don't, I'm not posh enough to have one of those. Um, the biggest brush you have, always paint with the biggest brush. Um, and I think I said in the last one, I can't really remember now, but I think I said I was going to try and do some research to find out what he actually did with this book. Um, the, only, the only information I could get, I was I looked on the internet for ages and ages, couldn't find anything, but it says at the back of the book he, he used watercolour and ink. Now, I know for a fact that some of these drawings are definitely pencil, so we've got a pencil, uh, and the only ink pen we have is the, is the gel pen, so we'll use that, so why not? Um, and obviously, a tissue for wiping your brush, water for uh, rinsing your brush. Um, now, when you're copying another artist's work, the thing is not to get too tied up in getting it exactly like he did it, especially something that's that's done as quickly as he's, he's been doing these sketches. Um, and the point of being, uh, the, is, is that these sketches were done actually outside looking at the what he's looking at, looking at the suit. Where he, he didn't do these from photographs, he did these from sat at the side of the road with his paint tin, painting away, looking at it. And one of the reasons he did it as quickly as he possibly could is because when you're looking at a scene, the, the light changes quite a lot. So the quicker you paint, the better it is, the more you're going to get of the scene that you're looking at. Um, so, right, yeah, so without further ado, let's get on. So if I, uh, we go to this camera, we'll move that up. In fact, I don't want to get water on it, on my book, so I'm going to move it right out of the way. But I'll show you now, that's the picture that we're painting. So I'm going to put that up there so I can see it and I don't get paint on it. And that's the picture, there's the water. Okay. Now he used um, a landscape pet sketchbook because the, uh, I'll go back to this camera. He used a landscape sketchbook, so that's a long thin one. So instead of it opening like this, it opens like this. So you get a real long, um, now we don't know what size he used. It could have been an A4 one, could have been A3 one, could have been really big. Um, it could have been A5. Uh, the sketchbooks I have, do I have one to hand? No. The sketchbooks I have are A5. Uh, I, I think they're just nice to carry about, they're just a good size. Um, I've got some smaller ones. Uh, I have A4. Um, but I don't like to take those out because I think they're just too big when, they, when you open them up. In fact, I've got one here I can show you. So this is a, this is a landscape. A4 sketchbook and as you can see when you open that up it's quite it's quite wide is that that's that's a long long wide sketchbook is that so obviously that's half that if if it's if a5 um so let's put that back back under there uh now this because this is about a hit a5 you i assume he used an a5 so now looking at this i think these are the size brushes we have, but I think uh, he probably used bigger brushes looking at uh, looking at some of this. So, um, but we do have the smaller ones, but I don't, don't think you really need to use a smaller one for this. We can just use the tip of this when we want smaller, smaller lines. Now, so we've got our A4 paper. So what I'm going to do is probably do two. So I'll use, do this. And then that's going to be our scene. So the middle of the, the book is there. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, <clears throat> what we're going to do before we do the next bit, we're just going to let that dry. Okay, um, 
So I think I've put a little bit too much water on there and drawing this or painting it, I suppose, um, I can tell that he definitely used a bigger sketchbook uh, than the paper we're using. So, so that's something, you know, this is, um, let me, I'll just put that in there now. Never, never do that though. Uh, never leave it like that anyway. So yeah, I think, I think this was probably an A4 sketchbook. So a lot bigger than we're using now. And this is a document. When you think about it, this, you know, obviously it's not his real sketchbook. It's a printed, but it's printed quite accurately, I think. Um, and when you look at documents, you learn things. And we're, we're learning by drawing his work, we're learning about what his experience was. Obviously it's completely different because he was outside and we're sat at the table, so it's completely different experience, but we're starting to understand uh, how he produced that work. And that's, that's like what's important here. That's why we're doing this as an exercise. Um, so we're gonna let that dry and with the magic of YouTube, it's just going to happen. It's still wet. It hasn't worked. I'll probably just have to wait. And we're back. So like an idiot, I didn't uh, switch it off. So the battery ran out while I was waiting for this to dry. So I've had to change all the batteries. And that. So it's, it's, it's not 100% dry yet, but it's nearly there. So we're going to uh, do a few of these. Few of these little lines up. I'm going to probably have to wait for this bit to dry as well before I do the pen. But what I've been doing is looking at it and if you notice. Can you see that there? It's a little road sign. I never noticed that. And I've, I've looked at this picture several times before I started drawing it. And I think that's, uh, that's the point of doing what we're doing. It makes you look at stuff. I got inspired by David Ockney while I was waiting for, uh, for the painting to dry. And uh, one of the things he's, he's quite well known for is drawing on his phone. So I downloaded a drawing app and I had a quick go. So that's, uh, that's the camera there of what I'm looking at while I'm sat in this chair. And that's my front window and things and the settee down there. So, so there you go. Okay, so um, we've, gone, we've done the painting and now we're going to do a little bit on the, of, with pen. Um, now it looks here, I'll show you the, uh, it looks here look, the, I'll show you quite close too. Can you see that these lines, these are all obviously uh, brown ink is used there and this is black ink. And over at this side look, but black ink there, uh, that's black ink, there's a bit of brown ink brown inks down here and all around there. So obviously we don't have brown ink. Look back to you. So we don't have brown ink, so we're just gonna use a bit of uh, touching up with, with our gel pen. Okay, so let's compare the two, shall we? Uh, I think it's blatantly obvious why he's a master and I'm not. Um, and something else I've noticed, like I said earlier on, I not I've noticed this road sign down here. I'd never, I hadn't seen that before. Something else, he's got like a thumbprint or something up here. So me saying it was an A4 sketchbook, maybe it isn't because that's 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 about the size of my thumb, is that so? So maybe it was this size. Like I say, we're only guessing about everything really. Um, but one of the things, like as you, well, I'll go over to this camera, one of the things that you can actually glean 
from doing this kind of exercise is, is you're trying to work out how he did things and what he was doing and stuff and you end up seeing things in the picture that you didn't see before and it's really really good exercise is this to just find an artist's work you like and just try and copy it and just uh, see how you get on and don't don't get too wound up if it doesn't look exactly like it like man i mean it's uh, it's green and yellow but i think that's as close as you can get to what i've actually done there um but it it's it makes you look at the actual artwork that you're copying so i'm going to do a couple more but i'll speed through it i'm not going to say anything uh if i've got time i'll show you it if not i'll just show you the end product um and yeah i think um i think I say it over and over again, don't I? Give it a go. You don't know until you actually try it whether you're going to like it or not. So have a try. And, and at the end of the day, you're looking at some nice pictures. So that's, that's worthwhile just in itself. Now, obviously, that looks very, very different to that. Um, I didn't get the trees in the background in. The trees here look, look like they're way, way off in the distance, whereas mine, well, they're just non-existent. There's one there, but... Mm. Um, but it's looking at all of these marks that he's made, and and then then especially these different marks here and these in the, in the distance, absolutely... Uh, Amazing. Uh, obviously, man, there's just no comparison at all, is there really? Um, <clears throat> but that's not the point. The point is to just give it a go and and look at the original picture. Uh, so have a look at some of um, David Ockney's and. Uh, but if you prefer a different artist to do, then please just, you know, do a different artist. That's fine. Absolutely fine. So if I go back to... Do, 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 I think it was further back this way. Do, 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 do. Was it there? It was right at the end. There we go. So let's move that out of the way. And go to that one. There we go. There we are. Now, obviously, this one was done. This was done first, and then these darker bits were put in afterwards. Uh, now, I realise that's how that was done, but I decided to do try and do man the opposite way and put all the dark bits in first, and then the sky. So, uh, very, very different, as we can see. Um, but that's the point. It's not supposed to look exactly the same. It is supposed to be your work. Um, even though you're copying somebody else, this is actually your work. 